144th consecutive sellout crowd is on hand tonight here at the stadium because the St. Louis Cardinals are in town to take on the Washington Redskins. Griffin is in. He works well out of the backfield. But this is Art Mock. Wide open is Art Mock, and he's inside the 25-yard line. Falls down close to the 23 as Benny Perrin was there defensively, but nobody picked Art Monk up as he came along the line of scrimmage. They were in a zone covering deep. So Benny Perrin made the tackle, and just after he made the tackle, he went straight to Leonard Smith, the strong safety, and talked to him. So I believe Smith broke the coverage. It was a nice catch by Art. There's a man who set an NFL record with 106 receptions. Redskins have only scored two touchdowns rushing and two touchdowns passing in four games. Rick Trying to get to the first down. I don't think he made it. E.J. Jr. slipped out there from middle linebacker, tripped him up. And it could be an early decision now for Joe Gibbs. Good bootleg by Kleisman. It'll be a touchdown. I don't know whether it was a call play or not. You know, Joe, sometimes you call it, sometimes you don't. Yeah, well, sometimes the quarterback won't tell anyone else because he wants everyone to carry out their fake. John Riggins made a heck of a face diving over the line of scrimmage. You can feel this stadium rocking. Beautiful face. Riggins covers it up. Now, apparently, it, it was a design play because Riggins had no hesitation once he didn't get the ball. Omax, the time, moving left. Oh, fires it to Green. And Roy Green will have another first down. The ball is loose, and there's a scramble. And the Redskins. This is what have made their years for the past three years, the turnover. This time they get another one. Mel Kaufman got it in there, Joe. Yeah, he did. It was his own defense that time. And Roy Green just found the open spot, but he forgot to hold on to the ball. Swarming defense, and that is what has caused so many fumbles and interceptions by this run. Four wide receivers in there for the Redskins. Dyson buys the time. Fires it out to Barnwell, and Barnwell will have a first down. He's down close to the 24-yard line, working in front of Wayne Smith. And now on their second drive, Mosley puts it through the uprights from 33 yards out, and the Redskins have a 10 to nothing lead. First and 10. Arden from their 21-yard line. Again, Lomax in the crowd. Down he goes again. Three consecutive series now. Lomax has been sacked. This the loss all the way to the 11-yard line was Dave Butts. Third and 14 on the shotgun. Pressure again. Man from the right side. He hit Lomax. The ball came loose. And that was one wide open shot. Lomax never had a chance. No one even touched man. <laughs> Old Tootie Robbins, he better get his helmet on straight. Man just whipped him severely that time to get in on Lomax. Second sack for man. And that one had to hurt Lomax. But again, clean block. Lomax. Roy Green. And Green, who has burned the Redskins so many times, will have a cardinal first down inside the 40-yard line. Anderson. That's what he does best. He breaks tackles. Doesn't get the first down. He's only a yard short. O.J. Anderson. Gets a good block from Farrell. Anderson gets the first down at the 25-yard line. His first down again the ball at the 25-yard line of the Redskins. Lomax. J.T. Smith inside the 10-yard line. This will be a 22-yard attempt to put the cards on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. And so the drive pays off for the Cardinals. Rogers and Rogers turns on that burst of speed. You can understand why he has been so effective since he came up as the number one draft pick for the New Orleans Saints. That's Wansley on the move. They'll come right over Wansley. Reagan almost breaks it. Gets inside the 30. Al Baker finally gets him in pursuit. They have dominated offensively. Cardinals only able to mount one drive. This is George Rogers. Put out another Redskins first down. Inside the 20. Down close to the 17-yard line. Kent Huff with a terrific block. Pulling from the right side ahead of George Rogers. A lot of time for five. And wide open is Gary Clark. He's only 5'9". He didn't have to be very big because he was spectacularly open. 
Nobody even close to it. Well, Gary beat Cedric Mack to the inside that time, and Joe Theismann really threw a good pass. He had some heat on that ball, and it was on the money. They strike once again. Look at the time he had. The Hogs up front. Great blocking. The big men. Giving him a lot of time, and the Redskins fans love it. 27 seconds remain. Cardinals have two timeouts. They have a second down and two. The ball at their 45 yard line. No match to pick up. Ralph Cherry, the rookie from Hawaii. Cherry out of bounds, and the clock stops with 13 seconds. And the Redskins have the ball in Cardinal territory near the 47 yard line. They have one timeout. Gary Clark, the extra wide receiver, along with Malcolm Barnwell, into the Redskins. Theismann gets the ball to Gary Clark, and Clark has a first down. He's right at midfield. And they function very smoothly. Mostly with plays like this on the ground, with George Rogers carrying tacklers, finally going down E.J. Jr., the principal tackler. But it's a big pickup of another seven or eight yards. They have been unable to stop the Redskins on the ground. And when you can move it on the ground, you can move it in the air. Another Redskin first down. And this is Vintage Redskins under the tenure of Joe Gibbs. Keith Griffin into the lineup on third and eight, the passing down. Heisman. And Didier. Yes, a great catch. A diving catch by Didier. We couldn't see it because of the cameraman. Watch his feet. Both of them have to come down inbounds. Timed it out beautifully. A diving catch right in front of, guess who? Cedric Mack. <laughs> and they keep coming back to Roger, and he keeps producing to the 17-yard line. Vinny Perrin makes the stop. Third and eight. Five, all the time in the world. Rip. Still could not find the receiver. It'll be fourth down, and... Nearly a seven-minute drive is going to end up with the Redskins trotting the field goal unit out. Mark Bosey, 29-yard attempt. He's already hit from 33 yards out. He's five and six for the season. He's six to seven for the season. And the Redskins move it out to 20. From the shotgun. Lomax and it's J.T. Smith. Smith will have the first down. He's well out over the 40-yard line to the 46 before he's tripped up by Curtis Stewart. Max with a lot of time throws it underneath to Doug Marsh. And the big tight end just booms his way to the 45 yard line, about a yard short of another Cardinal first down. Now the Cardinals have a drive of their own underway. Less than a yard, third down. OJ Anderson. Oh, geez. Look out. He breaks it loose. He tore loose from several Redskins at the line of scrimmage, and we told him how powerful he is. Redskins thought somebody else was doing it, and Anderson just kept pumping. 33-yard pickup. He's inside the 10-yard line of the Redskins. A classic case of a running back who has the reputation of being elusive, so you don't think he's you don't think he has the power to run this way, but once again, he's 225 pounds, and he's just a little too big for Daryl Green, who had his hand on him, and Daryl's only about 180 pounds if, if he's soaking wet. And it gives the Cardinals a first down goal to go. Lomax wants it quickly. Oh, pick off! Mel Kaufman. Lomax put it right into Mel Kaufman's numbers. Roy Green stopped on the pattern. Roy should have kept going. If they don't love their Redskins, listen to them. the turnover to Mel Kaufman. And the defense has played superb. Riggins. <laughs> he probably won't get there, but it's amazing that his advanced years <laughs> that hold it. He coughs it up as Mack runs it down and they're indicating the Cardinals have the ball. Crowd standing defense. Lomax going to Roy Green is picked off by Daryl Green. He's been shadowing Roy Green all night. He gets the interception, and it has been a long night for Roy Green. The man, the Redskins knew they had to stop, and that 
for the Redskins, their first fourth turnover of the game. Jimmy Earl Grant, an assist. He hurried Neil Lomax. They got pressure back there, and it looked like he was throwing the ball off balance. You'll see him right here. He gets hit just a little bit. He didn't have enough on the ball because of the defensive line. Darrell Grant made a heck of a play, number 77. First down and 10, the Redskins. At their own 17-yard line. Rodgers, he has worked and worked tonight. Cardinals saying they got the ball. Oh. Yes, they do. Couldn't see it from our side of the field. Rodgers pops it up, and the Cardinals will have it inside the Redskins' 20-yard line. Lomax, Pat Tilly, and Tilly comes up with it in front of Vernon Dean. They'll give it to O.J. Anderson. That's how you get it in the end zone. Doug Marsh with a key block. And Anderson turned that corner and turned it on. And the complexion of this game changes with 11.49 remaining. This time they bring it. And Lomax in trouble. And this man, once again, in pickoff. Deep downfield was Rich Malott. The fourth interception, Lomax was hit. Once again by Charles Mann, and he is in obvious pain, holding at left shoulder. He was off balance when he went down in the arms of Charles Mann. He goes 6'6 and 260. The Redskins have the football back. Pat has been coming out all night. Should have thrown that ball. He should have got it up in the air a little bit. He really did get tagged. He scans five turnovers on the night. Lomax has tied his career mark for interceptions in a given game. Riggins. Booms ahead, getting about six out of that. Four interceptions for Lomax tonight. Riggins, first down Redskins. And in the attitude and the tone of this crowd, you would think they would be playing for the divisional championship tonight. They've been on their feet almost in every play. Valuable seconds ticking off for the Cardinals. They have been thoroughly handled here tonight with the Redskins. Second and ten. Reagan, the reverse is to Muck. And the former Syracuse running back gets a first down inside the 15-yard line before Wayne Smith and Cedric Mark make the stop. Reagan's now to Muck. And just in a full sprint, sees it inside. Knows what he needs for the first down, and he gets it. Third down, four. Didier, told you earlier, has been having a good year. Here is the receiver that caught so many record-breaking passes from Neil Lomax of Portland State, Clint Didier. And Joe Thies leaps up on Didier. Third down and 20. Man got to Bruner once again. He was rushed. Vernon Dean, who went out of the game with a mild concussion earlier, gets the interception. All is well in the nation's capital. All is well with Joe Gibbs. And once again, the final score is Washington 27, St. Louis 10.